guys, I'm Maddie. What's up guys, I'm Chase. And today we're going to be talking to you about how to choose which medical schools you should apply to. Let's get to it. At the end of this video, we are going to talk about one resource that was so incredibly helpful to both of us throughout the entire application process at choosing which schools we should apply to. So make sure you stick around for that. Yeah, and before we get started, please, please, please like and subscribe. We can't stress this enough. When you subscribe, it tells us what videos you like the best and what content that you want us to continue to make. And then comment down below if you have a specific video that you want or if you feel like we forgot anything for this video. So the first thing that you should look at is which schools are in your state that you reside in and the state that you went to college in because those schools are going to prioritize those residents above non-state residents. They want to have people, they want to have physicians who are going to stick in that state and you are more likely to stick in that state if you have lived there. Right. So there are schools, for example, in Florida that typically accept about 95%, if not more, of students who live in Florida. And so while some states may not actually have any medical schools within them, look at the surrounding states that you live in and see what medical schools they have. And a lot of times they will offer in-state status for those in the neighboring states as well because they know that um, those residents aren't as fortunate as the ones who live in their own state. All right. So then the second thing that you should look at is MD versus DO. We're gonna have an entire video for that linked up in the description on one of these corners <coughs> that is going to talk about the differences between them. Um, long story short, apply the both. Don't get in the habit of saying, oh, I just wanna be this type of physician because that doubles your chances. Um, They're growing closer and closer together anyways, so yeah, you might as well. The residencies are merging anyway, so it really doesn't matter. So go to whichever school you get accepted to. Mm -hmm. I'd and rather be accepted. That you like the most. Yeah, I'd rather be accepted <laughs> to a school than not be accepted. Yeah, for sure. Um, so the next point would be Caribbean medical schools. Um, we did not apply to any Caribbean medical schools, but we considered it for sure. And while it would be super nice to uh, study on a beach every day, um, and it's also a little bit easier to get into than American medical schools, the class sizes down there are huge. And so you're not gonna have as many opportunities and it's probably not gonna be as personal, personal as of an experience as you're gonna get at a school within the continental United States. Also, you are going to have a decreased chance at a United States residency program. Yeah, so to build on that, I know a physician who graduated from a Caribbean medical school and they actually had to take a gap year after med school because they were rejected from every residency they applied to. So just something to consider. Um, your time is valuable and I don't want you to go to a Caribbean medical school and then not be able to practice medicine afterwards. Our next point is one that re we really wish that we would have uh, looked at a little bit more is look at every school you apply to in their mission statement. Um, before you apply before to them. Before you apply to them, that was our mistake. Um, they literally tell you what their goal is and what they want their medical students to help them achieve. So some medical schools um, mission statement is to bring physicians to rural areas. Now, if you're from a big city and you have shown no interest in rural medicine at all, you likely have very little chance of getting into this medical school. Additionally, Chase and I applied to two or three medical schools whose mission is to increase the number of black physicians in America. Chase and I are not black, so we had a very small chance anyways at getting accepted to this school and with the lower metrics that we had, it was very, very not likely that we were gonna get accepted there. So we didn't find that out until the secondary application when it literally asked us, um, how has being a minority affected your experience um, in healthcare? And so we went back, looked at the mission statement and uh, kind of put our foot in our mouth for even applying to those schools. So if you are a minority, look out for those schools because yeah. that's awesome, but um, just keep a lookout for things like that because that was a big mistake on our part. And then what we talked about at the beginning of the video is the biggest tool that you can use. It's called MSAR. It stands for Medical School Admission Requirements. 
It's put out by the AAMC. So that means that it's only for MD schools. Yeah, so this program tells you everything from what the MCAT averages were for that school broken down by the four segments. Mission what, statements, so you don't have to go from school to school to school's website. It's all right there. GPA, diversity of the class, um, what states the students come from. It breaks it down to as much information that you could ever need. So it will tell you, should you apply to these schools or not, based on your metrics. Yeah, and it wasn't just averages for the metrics, it was like, it was ranges. like graphs. Yeah, so ranges. So you could see what like the bottom quartile was, the top quartile was, and so that gives you um, a little bit of a guide. Yeah, so definitely check that out because if you have an average MCAT and you go and look at a school and you're like, hmm, I wonder what Brown's like, and you see that they're 518 or whatever, <laughs> then that helps narrow down your selection. So. That's all we have. I hope that helps you out. If you have any questions or any comments or want to see anything else, drop it down in the comment section down below and we'll hopefully get down to it.